What's going on guys, it's Carl here, back with another episode around WWDC coverage. We just left, of course, the convention center, and this video is all about iOS 13, all the new features that we just saw. Thank you for Thanks, coming into my intro. That's cool. <laughs> So yes, iOS 13, both coming to, of course, iPhone, and this time around, they actually split iPad OS and called it that exactly, iPad OS, but a lot of these features will kind of encapsulate both, and we'll talk about iPad stuff near the end. So the first big thing is, of course, speed and performance. We see this every time we get a new iOS update. So 30% faster Face ID, 50% smaller downloads, 60% smaller updates, and two times faster for when apps load and launch. The next big thing that we all have been dreaming for, we've seen that first come to Mac OS, iOS finally has dark mode. Alleluia, this is something that I think a ton of us have been waiting for for the longest time. It looks sleek, it looks way better in my opinion, and I think it's actually easier on the eyes. And I think it's just something that we've been used to the regular look and brightness of iOS for the longest time. Just having dark mode to give you that different option spices things up, because you know, that's important. Spice or variety is the spice of life. Spice is nice. Spice is nice. My favorite screen was in messages, just having that dark look makes it look way sleeker, I think. And to the actual texting, we now have an actual swipe capability built in. There was a ton of cheering going on over in the keynote, but it's something that we've had in Android with swipe text or uh, Swift text. I think that actually did come to Apple products. So nothing too crazy. It's now just an official option in iOS 13. We also have some major new updates coming to native apps, for example, Reminders. Maps is now being completely reworked and we have some very dynamic views, some very fluid street view shots, which I don't think I've seen on any other map system. Uh, I think Nick is most stoked because he always uses Apple Maps. And you always say it's a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> Political answer, yeah. yeah. And the next big thing was security sign-in with Apple. We've all seen it before, sign-in with, say, Google, Facebook, Apple being very strict about privacy. Obviously don't want your information to be leaked everywhere. You now have that option with, of course, selected apps to sign in with Apple. You can unlock that with Face ID and all of your data, of course, being very Apple, is safe and secure. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we now have the separate iPad OS, some key features, you now have pin widgets, just like the name implies, and just like we've seen in Android, you can now have widgets pinned to the home screen, and you don't need to have the full drawer or list of apps across. And the second feature, which I actually think is the most useful, you can now have the same app on split screen. So for example, if you currently wanna watch two YouTube videos, both of currently mine, I'm obviously hoping, you can now have those running simultaneously. Probably the best idea to get two times the views for anything that I've got up. Anyways, that is all the news for iOS 13. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I think we're all very stoked about dark mode. And yeah, I think that wraps up my coverage here at WWDC. We'll hopefully catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes. And linked up here are all my other ones from this week out here in San Jose. Peace.